so in reality, and I don't care what anybody tells you because I've interviewed the people for 30 years and, uh, and I restored the Diamond House Mansion and with the help of the guidance of some of the members that had been there forever. And they told me stories that people probably wouldn't admit if they were real uh, alive today members. But he avoided capture for four years until finally his lady, his number one connection, um, invited the, uh, the raid on a certain day at a certain time. She knew exactly where Ben was gonna be. And they came in with giant ramming bars. And when we restored the Diamond House Mansion, there was still pieces of the wood that were broke off the double doors at the entrance from, from the raid. So they did catch him uh, in 1926. He's, he had tuberculosis by then, he was dying, right? So they brought him to trial and they had rape charges, they had fraud charges against him. It was the most sensationalized trial of the 20th century by far. And so he went to war against all these accusations. Judge Dewhurst did a phenomenal job. Ultimately, after all the testimony, after all the court documents, they couldn't prove that he did anything. They couldn't prove it. So he was acquitted of all these rape charges that came before him. Um, but they found him guilty of operating a religion under false pretenses for personal gain, calling him a religious fraud. So he went home on his hospital bed. That's how he laid in the courtroom is on a hospital bed. Mm -hmm.